Hello, good evening. Hello, Cecilia and Vanessa, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, ladies? Good evening, teacher. Un poco malita, pero aquí estoy. Wow, what a sexy boy, Cecilia. <laughs> Una sonrisa sexy. Sí, sí. Sexy, <laughs> oye. <laughs> okay, sí. no problem. Me queda, me queda bien. Me queda. <laughs> sí, bien, bien, bien bonito, se oye. <laughs> Thank you for coming. And I hope you get well soon, okay? I, I was sick last week also. Oh my God, it was... Pero la semana pasada no di clase, así que, ay, gracias a Dios. Porque si no me hubiera puesto peor, estaba súper mal de esto. Maybe you should buy some asteroids. Are you with medication, Cecilia? No? Are you taking medicine? Sí, yes. Estoy tomando medicamentos, sí. Ok. Um, Thank you. A mí me ayudó sí. este esteroides, eh, ¿cómo es que se llama? Prednisona. Ah, no, eso, no. eso dilata la, desinflama. Sí, tiene razón. No, no me dejaron prednisona. Mm. Ah, a mí no tampoco, ves. yo me la tomé. A mí lo que me dejaron fue clorperinamina, me dejaron un ambroxol y acetaminofén. Yes. Eso yes. me dieron. Yeah, even, but I, even. no, I... I have some allergics, rhinitis, rhinitis allergica. So I, I need steroids. And I used also another one for my nose. Porque ah, estaba muy inflamada. Sí, sí. Y no Ajá. se me quitaba hasta que me empecé a echar esteroides en nasal. Se me quitó todo. Wow. Oh, yeah. It was two weeks, really hard weeks. Sí. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, good evening, Erica. Good evening, Victoria. Ladies first. Okay. I thought you will forget today we have class because it's Friday. Normally, we're not here on Friday. So, this is a special Hi. week. Because good evening. Are, good evening. This is a special week because we move to the classes to Friday. Normally, we are not attending on Friday. It's free. But uh, next week, we will be beginning on Monday again, okay? That will be normal again. Okay, good night, Rogelio. Good night, Cecilia. Another Cecilia, Cecilia de Perez. Hi, teacher. Good night. How are night, you? Teacher. Okay, let's begin with the class. Let me share the contents because some scene, let me see. I'm going to go to the... To the link we were seeing yesterday. Mm. We were seeing let me see. I will check. Cars because we are in the internet. No. Okay, let's go with this. Remember, we have to complete the two sections a knowledge check and all the exams for the week. We have to have to get covered two sections until number two. So we are a pretty, very, uh, very on time because we are beginning exactly today, number two. So we are on track. Okay, now can you say, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, no yes, problem. Teacher. Thank you. Okay, number two, lesson objective. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about two people 
and the activities they did during the past weekend. Do you remember it was about Megan and, and the other one that was studying Spanish? Yeah, we did it yesterday, right? So let me see, I will move to the other one. Let me see. Number 2.2, .2. in this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. We were reviewing yesterday these, when we are making questions, the verb and simple questions with this, the auxiliary. Did you, did plus the per, per, pronoun, then you add the verb in, Present and then the complement. So let's uh, remember this simple pass with this video. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. The regular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We used the auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used it? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, Every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did, and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay, let's uh, remember we have to use contractions all the time and complete answers. On Spanish, we are accustomed to just say no. For example, did you work on Saturday? Yes, that is Spanish. But in English, we have to uh, follow the grammar rule. We are using did, that is for simple past. So in affirmative way, 
we are saying yes, pause, I did. Right, going, going down, yes, I did. And then if we want to add, to add another compliment, I worked all day, just for an explanation, but it's not necessary because this is a simple question or just no question. That is yes or no, the answer. Uh, they are not informative. And if we are using no, we use the contraction with I did not, which is I didn't. No, I didn't, I didn't work at all. So this, this is very common to answer because we are answering the, the past situations on Monday, for example, or something that is already done is very common in, the, in, in, in our offices. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Did you eat your food? Did you come to class late? Did you, um, did you had a good day? Remember, ha did you have, it is, a, it is not, in that case, have is the verb, it's not working as auxiliary. Did you do, did you do your homework? Okay, so did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. That is informative question. It is not asking just a, a, just a simple yes or no. It is asking for information because it's, uh, this, these are known like as W questions because they are beginning with what, where, when, who, that is informative questions. So what did Rick, on, what Rick do on Saturday? You see that Rick is third person, sorry. Rick is third person, but we are not Sorry, sorry, sorry. We are not using, we are not using the auxiliary with S because the auxiliary in this case in simple past is T. So we are not, what did Rick does? No, what did, what did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. When we are pronounce, pronouncing uh, the past with regular verbs, the D at the end has to be very clear. For example, in work, we have to use worked. It sounds like a T. So the union between K and D is like a T. I worked. And with stay, it, we are adding a D. So the D has, has to sound very strong. Stay the, stay the is a very like lazy D in between the teeth. He stays home and studied, studied. The first D in this case and studied is like an R in Spanish. Ere, like ere studied, studied, or for a test. You can say for a test or just a test. And uh, this is a irregular verb, go. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. The letter T at the end to a form the negative form of the simple past, it has to be very strong. We don't say, I didn't. I didn't, no. I didn't is ending in N. We have to be very clear with the T. I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. How did Meg spend the weekend, her weekend? If this is an informative question again. She went to a karaoke 
bar and sang with some friends. Again, the pronunciation of the last letter in verbs in past is very, very important. She went, it's not she went. She went to a karaoke bar and sang. We are not pronunciating good. She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Remember is go, went, gone. And sing, sang, sung. The complete, uh, the complete chart of the combinations in the verbs. So do you have any questions about simple pets? No? No? No questions about simple past? Everything is clear? No? Okay. No teacher. Let's move. Yeah, simple past is, is a little bit um, easy. Just you have to be careful with the verbing present and with the auxiliary. That is very easy. Okay, we have a knowledge check again. Do you want me to solve it with you or do you want it to do it individually? I think this is easy. You can solve it individually, but if you want help, we can solve it together. That is no problem. No? Yes? No. 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 Okay, okay, perfect. Let's see, there are a lot of questions. A lot, number 10, okay. <laughs> they are changing the apostrophe, okay. <laughs> okay, 2.5, we are very advanced. Today we have to cover only one to, one to two only, okay. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation using past simple. Pay attention for details and pronunciation. Mm. Oh my God. I'm not, because I'm using another, uh, just allow me a moment because I have to go and look for Google Chrome because I'm using a Mac and the default browser is Safari. And we, I have problems with Safari when I have to play only audios, they are not played. So I have to switch to Google Chrome right now, just a few minutes and I will play this on Google. Okay. I will change the screen and share Google Chrome. Okay. Oh. I'm just waiting to load the class here. Oh my God, I have to register. Mm hmm Okay. I think we're we're ready. Oh no, it's beginning to rain. Okay. <laughs> Let's listen to this. I think we'll be delaying listen. a bit. Mm -hmm. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. 
I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so I will play it once again. Just to be clear. Hmm, I don't know if they want to play. Let me refresh. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm. It sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so it was clear for you, the audio? Or didn't you understand what is the situation about? What's clear? It's clear, okay. No, I think clear. this is, is uh, going to be like a quiz for you. Again, do you want to solve it individually or do you need help? The questions are very easy. Who had a boring time? Who had a good time? Who met an old friend? Who got home late? Only four questions and they are very easy. The audio is very clear. Do you need help with this or do you want to solve it individually? No. Do you need help? Or do you want to solve it individually? I do not heal help teacher. I don't understand what what are you trying to say? No necesitamos ayuda, teacher. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. Yes, I guess you don't need it, but I I would like to ask. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. 2.7. Participants will have a chance to listen a conversation where past of B is used. El pasado del verbo be, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál sería el pasado del verbo to be? Was, where. Was, where. Was, was for singular. Where. Was, where. where for where. Uh, plural, right? So let me see. It's a very complicated right now. It is an audio. First, we will pronounce it like normal right and then we will see the audio lesson and practice the topic is how was your vacation celia hi don how was your vacation don it was excellent i went to hawaii with my kissing we had a great time celia lucky you how long were you there? Don, about a week. Celia, fantastic. Was the weather okay? Don, not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. Celia, so what was the best thing about the trip? Don, well, something incredible happened. 
You won't believe it. That is the audio. So let me play for you. Participants will have a chance to listen to our conversation with parts of the issue. your vacation it was excellent i went to hawaii with my cousin we had a great time lucky you how long were you there about a week fantastic was the weather okay not really it was cloudy most of the time but we went surfing every day the waves were amazing so what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, so the audio is clear. Let's see Think the conversation again. Let's do translation to see the, and the correct pronunciation. Okay, let's, uh, I need volunteers, one to be Celia and the other to be Don. Who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Okay, Victoria, and then another person? Me, teacher. Okay, Erica. Okay, let's begin, one, two, three. Okay, I am Celia. Okay, perfect. Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Mm -mm. No, it's... Look at you. How was... Remember the S. How <laughs> was your vacation? And is cousin. It's not cousin. It's uh, cousin. 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 Okay, okay, let's begin again. Okay. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with How my well. cousin. Okay. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. Celia? Look at mm -hmm. you. How long? Hmm. Oh, I think Victoria has problems. Oh my God, the connection. Sorry, it's teacher. My internet. Yeah, it's beginning to rain. <laughs> I just. I go la, the la the yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you want to continue or or. Me está fallando el internet. Oh my God. No, okay. No sé si puede... Puede alguien más participar? Yes, I will finish with with Erica this dialogue or Laura. Do you want to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, now you're Celia. So begin again from the from the very beginning. I'm Celia. Mm -hmm. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It vacation. Was vacation. Vacation. Mm -hmm. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my co cousin. <laughs> cousin. Uh -huh. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. What's the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a kind of general pronunciation. Yes, it's okay. Thank you, ladies. Do you, okay. uh, is there any other one? Uh, 
going to participate. I need two more. We are a very, very uh, big group. So I want two more couples to participate. Let me see. Dedocratically. Morena and Erica again. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, I am Celia. Okay. Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? Mm -hmm. Wow. No Sorry, one. Teacher. Hi, Don. Sorry, teacher. The last one, me too. No. no, another person, please. Ah, okay. Another one. Me, teacher. Okay, Angelica. I am Celia. No, you're done. Oh, okay, it's okay. Uh, it was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We cousin. had a great cousin. Mm -hmm. We had a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? You there? About, about a week. Fantastic. Was the water okay? Not really. I was clothed most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Let's see the chat right now. Can you please pronounce this as in Spanish? Vacation. Exactly. It's not vacation. It's vacation. Okay. Vacation. 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 Okay. Vacation. Then let me see the other one. The look you look you what uh lucky. You. What is the pronoun teacher? Sorry. Okay. Lucky. You. Yeah. Cousin is like you say, cousin. 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 Mm -hmm. Cousin. Okay, let me see. We had a great time. Is pronounce this, please. Had a great time. Had a great time. Okay, that is, we had a great time. We had a great time. And the other lucky you is lucky. Lucky you. No, it's not you, it's you. you. Okay, lucky you. Exactly. Lucky you. That is the pronunciation. Let me see another one. Fantastic was the weather, okay? I really it was cloudy. It's like my name, Claudia. It was <laughs> cloudy, cloudy. It's cloudy. not cloudy, it's cloudy. But we went cloudy. surfing with all. Surfing, 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 surfing every day. The waves were Waves were amazing. See. Well, waves were amazing. Waves were amazing. Exactly. That is the pronunciation. So what was is not was. 
was is like a uh, o oh. what what mm -hmm. is the same okay. what what was the best thing remember th is the a tongue in between your teeth about the trip trip well something incredible happened happened with the d very strong at the end that is past you want to believe it believe it believe it is believe uh, it. b is a, a e when they say believe it believe it believe it de un solo o sea unido i I was um, explaining to you that is aglutinante. Believe it. They are two words, but it sounds like only one. Believe it. If you Believe want, it. we can, uh, you see, this is like just for purpose of how to, uh, you are, you have to, live, to read it correctly. That is like reading in Spanish, so I saw vacation is not pronounced well. Two people is not pronouncing well vacation. They said vacation. Vacation is not vaca. It's vacation. Vacation. Okay. So I will do it again and put attention of the correct pronunciation. You have to listen yourself. That's why I suggested you to read out loud the books or any reading that you have. Hi, Don. How was again? Uh, oh, how was your? It's not your. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I was uh, listening to someone that is. Let me let me just a. Uh, uh, simulating the, the accent. Hi, Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent, I went to Hawaii. Do you see the difference? That is Latin accent, that is Spanish. So you have to emphasize the finishings of the words to improve the, the pronunciation. Okay, hi, Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Remember these. Had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Oh, that was the other one. About a, about a week. About a week, that is the, the, the pronunciation. About a week, do you see? Oh, I'm sorry, it's not T. About a, about a with R, con la R normal de español. Esa T se convierte en R, en una R simple. No es R, ¿verdad? no hay doble R en, español, en inglés. No, se, no es raro que se pronuncie la R bien fuerte. La que existe es la R costarricense. Es así. Es como una R más como enroscada en la lengua. Entonces, about a week. Si lo leen en español, about a week es about a week. You can, uh, you can emphasize when we are finishing in T, you can emphasize the T like, like or use the only the R about a week or about a week. Both pronunciations are correct. Okay, fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. Let me see if I put you won't believe it. No. 
you won't be leave it. You won't believe it. The second E is like E, -E ¿verdad? Esto en el, si ustedes empiezan a leer, uh, por ejemplo, en el diccionario, les ponen la pronunciación en forma escrita. Y cuando hacen estos sonidos, le ponen la A con la E unida. Sí, unida, no hay espacio entre las dos letras. Eso significa que ese sonido se oye como dos vocales unidas. Ese sonido no lo tenemos en español. Entonces, o sea, sonar como I e al mismo tiempo es difícil porque no lo tenemos o nosotros o es I o es E, claro. Entonces, believe it, believe it, es como la primera E es entre I y E. You want to believe it. Igual el it, it es entre I y E. No es it claramente con la I, sino que es believe it. Okay, so let's go back and then read again. I need another couple to try the correct pronunciation, please. Someone as a volunteer? Rachel. Okay, and a second person, please. No, there is no another person. I tried in this occasion. Oh, sorry. Oh my God, sorry, so sorry. I tried. Would... Only Rachel? I try again. Okay, your, your connection is better? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Rachel, do you want to play Celia? Okay. Okay, let's begin. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? Vacation. Mm -hmm. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. My cousin. He had a great time. Mm -hmm. Look you. We, how? we had a great time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look you. How long were you, were, were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? The weather. Not really. Weather, weather, okay? Mm -hmm. Not really. It was it was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing surfing every day. Mm -hmm. The the waves were amazing. Mm -hmm. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, sometime incredible. Something. Uh, something uh, incredible. Uh, is it happening? Happening? Well, something incredible happening. You won't believe it. Believe it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Clapping. <laughs> a okay. difficult teacher. Yeah, it's, that's a little bit. It's a little happened, complicator. <laughs> <laughs> happened, eh, pueden poner la N y la D juntas y la E última D es muda. En todos los verbos regulares que se le agrega la ED, la E última E es muda. Entonces ustedes unen la N y la D. Puede ser una pronunciación. Y la otra, como lo hizo Victoria, que suena la E. O sea, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Pero lo normal es que no suene. Eh, pueden decir happened, happened, or happened. Happened. Pero más rápido, ¿verdad? Entonces es como N de happened, or happened. Well, something incredible happened. Well, something incredible happened. It's a quick pronunciation. If you are reading or if you are uh, reading uh, really quick, you're, you can obey the, the last E. So I will do it again faster. So you can see that you are joining sounds. Celia, hi John, how was your vacation? 
John, it was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Celia, lucky you. How long were you there? John, about a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. It's, an, it's a very um, easy dialogue. You'll have to try to read faster every time. Al principio lean despacio, ¿verdad? Porque tienen que irse fijando. Pero después vayan más rápido para que volvamos a lo mismo. Esto es como un gimnasio de la lengua. Tienen que acostumbrar a la lengua que ponga las posiciones del idioma. Por eso les aconsejé leer en voz alta, para que ustedes se den cuenta cómo a principio se van a trabar, trabar obviamente, ¿verdad? Pero a medida vayan eh, pronunciando mejor, va a ser mucho más fácil para ustedes hacer esos sonidos, porque ya van a ir uniendo, la lengua solita va a ir uniendo las palabras. Ok, eh, questions kids, about simple past and pronunciation. No, everything is clear. Or do you have a, a comment about your experience in pronunciation with past? Es bien importante el pasado porque solo es por lo, sobre todo los regulares porque solo se les agrega ed o la d en pronunciación y si ustedes no la pronuncian bien están sonando en presente. Y pueden entender que la acción es lo están haciendo ya y realmente ya la hicieron. En los irregulares es más fácil porque cambia la palabra, pero en los regulares es más difícil porque le tienen que poner ed. La forma de escribir es fácil, pero la pronunciación es más difícil. O sea, podemos hacer ejercicios si quieren. El mejor ejercicio es agarrar una lista de verbos y empezar, por ejemplo, answer. Answered, answered. Study, studied, studied, studied. Book, booked, booked, booked. Eh, quiero ver qué otro. Um, happen, happened, happened. Surf, surfed, surfed. No es lo mismo. I surf every day that I surfed yesterday. La pronunciación es bien clara, o sea, tiene que sonar pasado. Es uno de los tiempos más fáciles. El problema es la pronunciación. Okay, let's move to the other one. Lesson objective. Okay, I have a comment here. Recomienda una página para ejercitar. Uh, sí. Se la voy a conseguir porque tengo un, un YouTube que no lo puedo poner aquí, ¿verdad? Que no puede quedar acá, pero se lo puedo poner en WhatsApp, que son, creo que son 200 o 100, creo que son. Son 100 o 200 verbos en los cuales trae audio y también traducción. Entonces van alfabéticamente, entonces 100 son bastante. ¿verdad? Entonces ustedes pueden ir oyendo, viendo en el mismo momento cómo la persona lo va pronunciando y viendo la diferencia entre, o sea, la mejor forma de aprenderse los verbos es con una lista en la cual sea presente, sí, en forma básica, ¿verdad? Pasado, participio, ING. Y los van repitiendo como que son niños, ¿verdad? Como son A, B, C, D, es la forma. Es la única forma, sí me los aprendí yo los verbos. En A, B, C, D, alfabéticamente los verbos. Y ahí trae el plus que lo tiene traducido, ¿verdad? La, en español. Entonces ustedes empiezan con la A, por ejemplo, qué sé yo, eh, un verbo con la A. Eh, quiero ver. Ya yes, el chat. Te ponen ejercicio. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Eh, puede ser, por ejemplo, puede ser un verbo eh, con A. O oh, todos los días aprendanse tres, bye. A la semana ya tienen 21. Tres verbos al día es poquito. O sea, es poquito. O sea, por ejemplo, imagínense este. Taught. Teach, taught, taught, teaching. 
Eh, quiero ver otro. Incluso el verbo to be. Am, is, are. Was, were, been, been. Ese es el verbo to be. Eh, quiero ver otro aquí. Progress. Progressed, progressed, progressing. Discuss. Discussed, it discussed, discussing. Ya ustedes solitos, ya con la terminación, ya van a ir rellenando. Ya van viendo ahí. Eh, serían verbos, creo que son regulares. Les voy a tratar de conseguir una regular y una irregular. La irregular es la más difícil porque son los más difíciles de aprender. Por ejemplo, el correr, por ejemplo, el run. Run. Run es la, el, el presente, run. Suena como O, pero es run. De ahí está el pasado, run, que es con A. Eh, de ahí vuelve al, 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 el, vuelve al run, ¿verdad? Y de ahí vuelve a de running, running, run, run, running. Son así, suenan como iguales, pero al, y, y, lo, y también la gente que es visual, al verlo escrito, se memoriza cómo se mira escrito. Eso a mí, por ejemplo, a mí me sirve bastante. Write, wrote, written, writing. Ya se sabe ahí. Entonces, cuando ustedes se van haciendo, eso sirve bastante también para el, pre, el presente perfecto, que ocupa bastante el participio. Si ustedes se aprenden de un solo cómo es el participio con el verbo completo, ya lo tienen en su mente como, como es. Es más fácil porque están pensando, pucha, el auxiliar, el verbo en participio, es más difícil. Sin embargo, si ustedes ya tienen el verbo en participio, en la mente ya es más fácil, solo lo usan. Ya no tienen que andar averiguando y cómo se dirá este verbo en participio, por ejemplo. Ya saben porque ya lo vieron. Ya solo es cuestión armar la expresión gramatical. Ok, let's continue. Uh, questions and short, uh, and short answers will be taught. Ya vimos que short answers es una explicación pequeña, ¿verdad? Yes, no. The past of be. Am and is llevan was. Y are lleva where. Esas son las formas de pasado del verbo to be. In this session, participants will study the past of be. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb be. Let's start. Past of be. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of me, a uh, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions to see the past of me, we do it this way. Was were plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used to be to express feelings, conditions, estates, and descriptions either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? 
Were you late this morning? Okay, so let's uh, answer these questions. We will have to use the contractions. The video is not responding. So where were you late today? Possible answer is no, I weren't, or yes, I were. That is the normal answer. But if we are like um, just um, giving explanation, for example, if I was late, I, I were late. Este were a veces se ocupa con el I. ¿Por qué? Porque eh, la forma gramatical es was, generalmente. Puede decirlo, hay gente que lo dice, I, I was late, I were late, porque es como que estuve, yo fui. Yo, o sea, es algo que eh, la mayoría solo ocupa como where, I were, I was. No hay como mucha diferencia, pero sí se utiliza. Hay mucha gente que ocupa ese where. Aquí, por ejemplo, were you in Hawaii? Estuviste tú en Hawaii? Yes, I was. Complete answers. No solo yes, ¿verdad? Were you in Hawaii? Yes. No. Sí estuve. Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, no, it wasn't. Contracciones, ¿verdad? Nuevamente tenemos que sonar al final para que no es no, it wasn't. Wasn't no existe. No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Si ustedes oyeron la pronunciación de ella, la cousin es como entre o y u, ¿verdad? Eh, para mí es mejor pronunciar un poquito cousin, porque se evita, ¿verdad? El, el estar con el o u, que son diptongos que nosotros no ocupamos. Son raros, ¿verdad? Nuestros diptongos son diferentes. Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long did, esas son las just no questions. Ahora vamos a las informative questions. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How long were you away is, ¿Cuánto tiempo estuviste fuera? How long? I was away for a week. Estuve fuera por una semana. How was your vacation? ¿Cómo estuvo tu vacación? It was excellent. Estuvo excelente. En este tipo de preguntas siempre se ocupa contracción. Pueden contestar I was not. I was not, por ejemplo. Was the weather okay? No, it was not. Está correcto, pero no, les, no se va a oír bien. Generalmente es no, it wasn't. Weren't, were not. We were at the party. Did you, did you, did you uh, were you at the party? No, we were not at the party. A veces se hace como más, como un tipo de énfasis bien, como, como bien claro, ¿verdad? Para, eh, a veces no se ocupa la contracción para ser como bien obvios, como que, Were you at the airport today? Y si yo quiero ser como un poco pesada o así como que no, no estuve ahí, por ejemplo. ¿verdad? Entonces es, no, I were not at the airport. I told you. A veces cuando hablan un poco grosero, le ocupan eh, sin contracción. Pero normalmente sí se ocupa la contracción. I wasn't, I weren't. Esa es la, la contestación normal. So, do you have questions, kids, about simple past or is everything clear? No, teacher, thank you. Everything it's is clear. It's clear. clear. It's clear. clear. or clear, clear? Clear, <laughs> clear. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are at 10 o'clock. Almost 10 minutes. 
uh, to finish the class. So thank you for coming today. I know it's Friday. And uh, I think the rain is stopped right now. So uh, that would be great for sleeping. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So have a really nice weekend, guys. Don't forget to study. I promise I will uh, put the list of verbs in the WhatsApp group so you have time to practice on weekend and you can see the, the differences on pronunciation with regular and irregular verbs and maybe <sighs> you, can, you can have- I think I in the taza. Oh, someone is speaking. <laughs> oh, God. Someone is speaking. Okay. Erica. Yeah. Okay. Good night. <laughs> okay. Go to take a shower. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. guys. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs>